anyway, I was asked to show you how, or someone else to show, for me to show how to make this envelope pocket book. I'm not quite sure what you call it, but I'm going to call it the uh, Flip Retro Book. And I'm going to show you how to magnetize it and how I do certain pockets and all that good stuff. So I hope that it answers your questions. Let's get started. What you need to get started this, pro this project is so simple that you're, it's so, so simple. You're going to need four envelopes. It doesn't matter if they're the same color. I mean, you're going, you are going to uh, end up covering them anyway, but uh, you need four envelopes. One, two, three, oops, I put one too many away. And what I'm using here is the A7, which is uh, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And uh, you, know, I'm sure Recollection uh, and Michael sells these or whatever. They're bigger than the other ones that we use as a normal card. Okay, so because of the size, we need to have uh, some decorative paper that either scraps, if you have scraps that are big enough to fit that, or um, an 8x8 paper pad or a 12x12. 12 because if we use a 6x6, six six, it's not going to be big enough to, you'll have some, some uh, broken pieces. But you can use it too, right? It depends on the individual. Now, you're going to need some adhesive and you're going to need a, um, a uh, score, um, yeah, score pad. A good old score buddy here. And, and a cutting board and so forth, but it's really simple. Four envelopes, guys. You put the envelope in where the crease is here at five and a quarter. You add a half an inch, which will bring you to five and seven uh, and three quarters. And you score it all the way down. So all I'm going to do here is just match up the score line. And I'm going to fold that score line right there. What this creates is this piece here, and that will become your gusset or, or spine or whatever you want to call it. So you can stuff it, and um, it, won't, it won't get fat, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to do this to all four envelopes. Take this, add a half an inch from there, all the way down, half an inch. All the way down at five and seventy-five, five and three quarters of an inch, all the way down like this. Okay. So all I'm going to do here now is just match up this side. And if you're very good at it, you really don't need to do that because you can just take it on your own and, and fold it all the way down. But you need to have four envelopes that are folded in that manner. Okay? And simple as this. There. So I have four envelopes that are now folded this way. Now I am going to need to attach them. And to attach them, I'm going to open one up. I'm going to take the back side of this card and I'm going to attach it. But you have two, you have the original crease and the crease that you just created here. You will attach the back side of the card up to on that, sec that, that second score line, the one that you created, it stops right there. So on the camera, you can see right here, that line right there, this is where you're gonna lay your card. So it'll fit like so, okay? So all you need to do is take your tape gun or your glue, your, your liquid glue, whatever, whatever you wanna glue it, it doesn't matter. You can glue it with whatever you want. And, and then you attach your envelope on that crease line like that okay if you don't put it on the line what if you're wondering what will happen is your your book will not close it'll close like maybe like this a little bit or whatever so this is why you need to lay it right on that line so attach the remainder two envelopes the same way as I just attached this one right on that line guys and um, like that, like that, 
There's one and one more to go. And like that. And again, my last envelope the same way. Right on that crease line, guys. And you should have it made. So now you have something that should look like this. This is the flat part here. And if they all open up square, which they should, they're, they're empty right now, so it makes it a little flimsy, then the top cover will roll right over the top this way. And this is going to become your flap with your magnet. These parts won't show because you're going to, you're going to uh, double it up. You're going to decorate it. So you can start by opening it up now that they're all attached and take whatever you like out of an 8 by 8 or a 12 by 12 page. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to use this one. And you are going to cut up a piece to fit from the original score line, which is where the lid closed, here. Don't go to the second score line that you did because that's the binding in the back. And if you do add it up to here, you need to have it scored first because it, it won't close properly. So what I like to do is I, I'll measure it and I'll measure it for you guys. And the measurements are from here to the first score line is five and a quarter. So I like to leave a quarter inch all the way going around. So I'm going to cut it at five inch wide. Five inch wide, and then down here is is uh, seven and a quarter. So I'm going to cut it by seven. So again, I'm going to cut it from five to seven, and five to seven is going to give me that edge all the way around. Now, if you don't want that and you want it all covered, then you'll go five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Got it? So I'm going to cut up four pieces while uh, I'm off camera and I'll be right back to save on some time and you can all right so all our pieces are cut and again we ended up with this once it was all glued and you can tell it was one two three four envelopes okay we are going to start with the back side and I have cut four pieces of this cardstock and I used uh, the uh, paper pads from Eco Park and it's just the dots and stripes it's something that I had it's the only 8x8 pad that I had so I thought I'd use it and um, just for interest it takes 8 pages 8x8 eight, eight eight to do this project you'll have bits and pieces left over but to use it economically uh, I would say 8 pages so what I did is I two of these, two of these, two of these, and it does the trick. Okay, so I've cut all my pieces, and I've cut them at, so, at 5 by 7. So now, at this point, you'll choose the side that you want to put it on. If you want to add it on the striped side, I have double-sided or not. And you are going to attach them as center as you can to in, onto the back side of those envelopes like so okay so you're going to add them on the back side about a quarter of an inch from the first score line and you know give it give or take there and uh, then that'll do up this side and throughout this too after we're all done this I'll show you uh, how this second piece, by the way, you start from the left hand score line and go about a quarter of an inch. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll show you too how some of the pockets were made and I'm going to show you and do it step by step how I made the magnetic flap, which is super simple. Super simple. And uh, I'll show you... Um, I don't quite remember step by step of what I did with the other one because I normally don't do a lot of things twice and um, and I hadn't really uh, that was for a swap the one that I made 
and I don't have it on hand to see and able to show you but I think if I give you the basics I'm hoping that it'll, it'll get you going to uh, understand whatever else some of the pockets and and so forth and then you can decorate it the way you like it uh, I'm going to make it retro on this one I think the colors go well although I could have done it and and more vintagey because retro is definitely not it's my age <laughs> but it's not my uh, my I'm more of a vintage person but everybody likes to have a little challenge I would say now these little pieces I cut off and I personally I'm going to decorate the gusset here or the spine some people don't bother I do um, I had them it's on leftover of the papers so why not I cut a half I put three quarters of three quarters of an inch and and I'm just going to lay it down right in the middle so it was no it wasn't like I had to cut a whole brand new piece just for these so um, I'm going to add them and I'm just not going to add them color coordinated I'm just going to mix the colors up here make sure that it's in the middle of that spine I try the oh, can't have the orange I'm going to do the blue oops my tape gun here it's getting to the end I hope I don't need to change it right away but um Oh, this is a blue one. I already had a blue one. That's for the other side. Well, let me try this again. Let me try this again. I'm going to do a red one here. And then I'll do the green one in the center. Just because I can. And I like to mix the colors up. So I'm going to add this here. In the center here. Between When I say the center, it's in between the two score marks. And I'm going to grab a green one for the center. Oh, did it again, guys. Wrong side. <laughs> Everything is sticking to me. Oh, life is good. All right. There you go. There, so the front part, as in four envelopes, are done. Now for the back side, for the inside, each pocket, you're going to cut a piece, but they're going to be different. They're going to be seven inches. Seven inches is fine because the length is the same, but the width isn't. So you are going to cut them. Man, I've already forgot. <laughs> I've already forgot how, how wide here. I think it was three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters by seven. And each piece will fit from the inside of the envelope here to the edge, and it gives you about a quarter of an inch all the way going around. Okay? So, let's get this done. Now, I prefer, just because I can, I'm going to flip over and not do the polka dot inside. I'm going to do the stripe inside. There you go. Now, we need another one. And on, uh, you're probably wondering, what are you going to do for the inside? You're going to keep it blank? Well, you can keep the inside pocket here blank if you wanted to. But since I had some extra paper left over, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to line that inside. Which, to me, adds a little bit of flavor to it. I don't know. It's up to you. But you don't have to do it because you're going to fill it up with probably uh, some journaling cards or whatever. But I will definitely add a pocket there. Like that. One more to go, guys.
like that. Okay, so I said I was going to decorate the inside. This is when I cut this piece off, I ended up with a, a this these parts left over from the um, from the the the, the eight by eight, and um, I take it back. That's right. Those are the leftover pieces from here. The leftover pieces from here are right here. Okay, so this is what I had left over, all right? So what I do with this is I'm going to flip them over, and I'm going to glue them inside here. Now, you don't need as much as what I'm adding right here, but I have them. I'm going to add them, and I'm just going to flip it over because it matches, and I'm going to add them in. And to do that is, is simple enough. I just add just enough to keep it in, in place, guys. Nothing extraordinary. I didn't have to cut these pieces or anything. They were, they were exactly the um, right size. Uh, I, uh, where I glue them, I glue them where the line will fold right here. Okay? So I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do, oh, okay. I'm going to, uh, use this one to finish it off. I haven't used this for so long, I don't even know if I remember how to use it. There you go. And uh, all I'm going to do is add it in here. This one here I should have put over there, and that one there I should have put over here, but as I said earlier, it really doesn't matter. It's just to cover the lining. So I am I, I add it right at the edge where that the flap, the score mark for the flap, the full flap goes down like that. Okay? So am I on the wrong side of this machine? This is the one that I usually give my granddaughter to play with. Okay. Just to save on time here. And I add it on the score line. Like so. So, did I put it in one? Nope, I still put this one. Put this one down. And I just put the, ta the tape on to, to keep it in place. It's not, you know... Not serve any, it's not going to hold anything or anything like that. It's just to keep it in place. So I'm going to put it in there and add it right to that line. It's going to stick a little bit as you maneuver it, but there you go. So see what it does here? And with the other strips, which were these here that I did by error a few minutes ago, this is what I'm going to add onto that quarter. that binding here. So, let me see. My blue one is here. I'm going to add the blue one right here in the middle. It's already got adhesive because if you remember, I had put it on the wrong side a few minutes ago. And this is the orange. I'm telling you, I have no feeling on the tip of my fingers here. So, on the orange one, and um, One here, right in the middle, as I said a while ago. When I say the middle, is in between the two score lines. And then this one here. And these little guys are seven inches by half inch. Okay? That's my inside. My inside is done. All done. So, when I close it, I'm going to close it, and it's going to close like that. Now, let's do the lid. The good old lidy. All right. Now, with the smaller pieces that I had left over, that's what, I, what I'm going to do my lid with. You can use whatever color you want. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to, too, on this case, I'm going to match up the front. 
just because I can and I want to. And I'm going to use the green to match up with this from the inside. There. Done. Decision made. Now, I need to get a positive and a negative and a, and a positive and a negative into a little uh, magnet, in a magnet. Make sure your magnets are strong. It's very important that they are strong because if they're not strong, they, you, they won't go through the card. They won't, it just won't pick up. And another thing too, if you don't have magnet, you could also use Velcro if you wanted to. The only thing with Velcro is you have to make sure that it's adhere really good because it tends to want to, um, it tends to want to uh, come off because it's it's adhesive that's on the other side, but and uh, it pulls hard harder because it's ripping off the other side of the uh, of the um, Velcro. Pardon me. Now I just did. The same thing on the other one. I went and I, this goes underneath here, and I should have known better, but I am going to fix that. Nothing cannot be fixed. I'm just going to easily pull it. So before you would have done this part here on the opposite side, you would have added your magnet, but I didn't, and I did the same thing on the other one. I couldn't remember how I made it is what I did, and I thought, oh gosh, yeah, that's right, that goes underneath. But, I mean, you can always fix it if you didn't want to. You could lay it on top and put a piece of, another piece of cardstock. But it's easy to, to take out. So you, you, I eyeball it. You can measure it if you want it to. Like at, uh, let's say it's seven and a quarter. So six and a half, six, three quarters. So right about here is the middle. I can push it far enough. Oh, that adhesive is, is strong. So... There. That's not going to bother anything at all. Okay? Now, I'm going to want to put the green one in here. So, you can do different things with this. But you're going to have to measure it. And when you measure it, you're going to measure not... Like, this is going to be the flap that fits on top, like this, okay? So, if you want to start it from here... You are going to have to score it there, half an inch. I'll show you what I mean. I didn't do it on the other one, but uh, I don't remember if I did it on the original that I sent for the swap. I don't remember that. But I'm going to score it just to show you. I'm going to give it a, a good hard score so it'll, it'll bend easily when I, when I attach it on here. Never done it this way, but let me see how it's what is it going to look like in here. I'm going to need to, to snap take some of this off. It's not gonna be just gonna take a snip of it off. And I will rephrase that for you to score. Because I, sh I didn't troubleshoot this before, I'm going to do, you're going to do it a quarter of an inch. You're going to score down a quarter of an inch, okay? That'll, that should work out pretty good for you. And then when you put it down, make sure that the, the crease here matches the crease here. So if you want this part to show, then you're okay. If you want this part to show, you're going to have to bend it the opposite way. and score it. Now, I'm going to attach this. Now, you could cut it ahead of time and uh, cut it by, you know, with the measure it and cut it with the uh, cutter and whatnot. I'll show you what I did. I just like, I just found it gave it a ni nicer finish, but that's me. So, I'm going to add some adhesive here. Do I have it right? Okay, so I'm going to add some adhesive here, like so, and I'm going to crease it, and I'm going to add it right on the crease, and I'm going to fold it a 
I'm going to fold it with it if I can get it straight. There you go. Like that. So I won't have any bulk. Okay? So that gives me an edge over here that matches the edge over there. And then if you have glue, you can either rub, rub it with your finger or if you have an eraser like this. This is a glue eraser. You can take your excessive glue off. Okay? Now, I have this edge showing on top and now you don't want that. But, you're going to need it to add this part of the magnet underneath. So, they're hard to get out of these little containers. So what I do is I add my, my thing right there, like that. So I know that it's exactly on the right position. I'll take the tab off, and if you don't have a tab like this, if it's something like this or whatever, um, just put a dot, a glue dot on the back, and then I flip this inside, as, you know, and then when I close it, I make sure that this closure here, okay, where it folds here on this gusset, I make sure that it's right on the fold for this one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if I fold it right, when I pull it over, the seams should match as close as you can. I'm working backwards here, guys, so excuse me for a second. And with that, I should be able to pull this enough. <laughs> Murphy's Law on camera, guys. To put it on the edge, pull it off. Okay, now I pull my lid back up, and then I should be able to glue this, no problem. So now I'm going to add the adhesive right here. Like that. I want to make sure that the edges are all taken care of. And that should close up fairly well. Put the adhesive on my desk. Okay, so we know that that's going to be too, too long for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I take my scissors and I get a dollar, dollar store scissors here and I just cut the edge off like that. Then I take my corner here, my chomper, and I just round off the corner with that. If I, I wanted to, I didn't have to do it now. I could have waited until I did the other side, but... So this fits here, no problem. Okay, now I want to do the other side, which is the blue side. I want the blue to come over, no, the orange to come over on this side. Got the orange there. Did I do that backwards? Yes, I do, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So I want to have some blue. So I'm going to take the piece of the blue. I've got to take the long piece. Where's my, oh, right here. Which one is longer than the other, like this. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. But now I know that it's, I don't go half an inch, I go a quarter of an inch. I, I'll just go a quarter of an inch down, like that. And then I'm just going to fold it over like that. And I'm learning this as I'm going there, guys. So um, bear with me as we work together. So I have it on the right side, I know that. Now if I want to add a half inch, all I would have needed to do is another half inch would have covered the whole side is what I'm trying to say. So I eyeball it to make sure that it's even with the flap here so it'll, so it'll look good. And then I bring it down. 
like that. Okay. Got it? Did you see what I did? As easy as that. As easy as that. Now I put way too much adhesive, but that's okay because I'm going to cut it off anyway. So I wasn't too worried about that. Just going to cut it off. Now, like I said, you could have done all the measurements and uh, cut it with your cut with your uh, cutting board, but didn't. And I'm going to take my corner punch. I, I'm I corner punch at half inch, just FYI for information purposes. And um, I'm just gonna trim a little bit here. Where there you go. There's my envelope. So that's the envelope, and those are the pockets. That's the beginning of our flip card. Now, I'm going to get myself ready to show you how we do the rest. I'll be right back, so don't you dare go away. All right, so now that we have our, our retro book cover done up, and we know how to put the magnet in here, now we're going to start do, decorating it. Decorating it and I the next step that I do personally is I'll take out whatever color coordination I want you don't have to have a Tim Holt sponge you can take whatever sponge you want any type of paint that you want or I should say uh, stamp pad or whatever and I start inking the edges I find by inking the edges on everything and when I do I do it all I find that it, it, I don't know if you want to use the word camouflage because that's not a good word, but it covers the roughness sometime of paper when you, uh, when you bend it, sometime you'll have a crack, sometimes you'll, uh, your line may not be really, really straight, so I guess it is a good word for it, camouflage, I never really thought about explaining it before, but I particularly like it for that reason. Um, and uh, I've been edging for years, and I like it. <laughs> I, I like the, the I like what it looks like. Even though sometimes at the end there's not a whole lot showing because I end up doing, um, you know, putting ribbon and so forth. I still particularly like the effect that it gives. I'm. Uh, I'm thinking to make sure that you use a good adhesive because I didn't use as good of an adhesive here. Now I filled up my gun again and uh, it, I don't find it, it stays as well as it should have. Now you don't have to use the same colors inside if you didn't want to, if you wanted to use a different color. But for sake of time, I have it in my hand. I am going to do the inside the same as I did the outside. So these little places here. Now this here you could have, if you wanted to, you could have... Um, added a piece of paper. I've never done it. I've always uh, I've always left it as is, but that's entirely up to you. If you feel more comfortable, you can bend it over because the creases are there, so you don't have to be fiddling with the sides. Like that. See how simple it is? It's just to give it some character. And all I do when I do this, and there's an edge, I just put my hand inside and I just go back and forth and everything is great everything is looking up now for some of you who don't like this type of edging you can leave it plain it's going to be your your booklet so you don't have to do what I do I do what I what I particular I'm trying to stick to about the same thing as what I did on the other one although I don't really really recall um, I kind of just go by a picture, but because I don't have the actual piece here, and I'm lucky I have a picture. But I so many times I give stuff away and I forget to take a picture. Are you guys like that? I'm terrible for that. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It's not bad because I do it for them, but then if I have to backtrack in order to make another one for a request or something like this case, for an example, wow, <laughs> I'm getting old. You know, my brain don't always work great <laughs> to remember certain things. I can get an idea, but it's 
especially when I don't make anything twice the same. I like to, I love to make changes. I've, I love changes. The only thing I've ever never changed in my life was my husband, but everything else, I've changed. I had many homes, many trips, many this, many that. Only had two kids though. <laughs> Let me see. What else did I miss here? It's quite simple the way I do it. It's not too uh, too time consuming. The biggest thing is to make sure your your sponge is wet. Other than that, you're just I'm gonna have to pass by twice. I think I'm pretty much done here. And one more here. All right. So now that we've edged everything, I believe. So I'm going to show you when I put my, uh, what this is, a dollar store. I shouldn't be doing this in the middle, but while we're doing, this is what, to put lipstick on. Buy that at the dollar store. Dollar, fifty, two dollars, I forget now. They're perfect for these. And for my little whiskey brush, a dollar store. Oh, that's all I use. I didn't buy Tim Holtz. It's too expensive. And the colors, the main colors that I use, they fit perfectly right there. Yep. My little doodad. <laughs> okay, so we did this. We're ready to go to the next step. Let's see. And my next step, I would say, we're going to do, we're going to color, we're going to decorate the front. I was kind of looking for different ribbons. I know I put uh, white lace on the last one, but I'm going to um, I'm going to try. I don't know. Do I want to add? I'm going to add a lace, I think. It's like the effect the lace gives it. And for this, I just keep it simple. I'll just... You can use your glue gun if you want. Or you could use your tape, whichever comes handy to you. Or you could use glue. I use Fabri-Tac. I bought it recently. love it. It's everything and everything that everybody raves about. It just it sticks real quick and dries quite fast too. I was, you know, it's really good. Now I don't want to make a frill on this guy. I just want to add layers onto it. So I'm going to just do this to it. I find that adheres really well. Maybe for some of you, uh, you prefer to put some fabric tack and that's okay too. So I'm just going to add a piece here. And on the last one I had put a half of a um, what do you call that? Not a doily, but I had done a fan. A fan, a fan, a fan. So I could, by doing a fan, I could do one. All I would need to do is take my score buddy again, and on every score, every half inch, like this. If I want a wide one, if I want a, if I want a narrow one, I would go every quarter of an inch. That's all you need to do for this. And then you fold it valley forward, in, out, in, out, in, out, just, just like that. And it goes fairly quick, I like to think. And I may have it too big here, I'm not too sure, but we'll find out soon enough. And you score it, make sure that it's nicely scored and then I'm going to open it that's going to be way too big for that so instead of cutting another piece and gluing it on I'm going to take my handy dandy scissors here and I'm going to cut it about in half like this and now I can glue it onto here we're just going to use a little bit of tack because I got here, that I have here, like this. And I'm just going to add it on to here, like that. Nope, I did it opposite, but it's okay. I'm just going to fold it up again. I 
sure that I've done it right. I don't want to yak here. I might cut some off for time. And then all you do is you pull it up. Make a half of a... Like this. But I don't like all of this. Maybe just half of it will do. Yeah, half of it will do. What was I thinking? So, if I'm going to do the same, all I'm going to do is add some score tape. Let's hope I'm doing this on camera live, guys. <laughs> so let's hope it turns out the way it should. You can use, uh, like I said, liquid tape will do just fine with this. And uh, I'm going to add this one. About there, I think. <laughs> And then I'm going to add another piece of tape. I just like this tape. I, I just find that, you know, if you don't do it first time around, you're going to tear some paper out. But it, if you grab onto it right away, it's just perfect. I just love it. I, I think it's the greatest thing to work with. And I'm going to take the other one and I'm just going to add it on here. Did you see what I did? So I'm using the magnet, by the way, as a, my center point. So this is my half moon. Now we're going to add something in here in order to make it look pretty. So I think I'm going to add a flower. I think, I think, I think. I'll pull up my flowers here real quick. This is, is not a project that I put a lot of thinking in it, so it goes to show what you can do when you're... Nope. Hmm, waiting for a batch of flowers to come in because I'm starting to run a little bit low. Did I want that one? No. Let's see. Flowers aren't in yet, but I've got, I should have something here that works. Yep, I think that'll work right there. Do you think? No, that's too big. I'll have something else that's smaller. Smaller, 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 smaller. Oh, this is pretty. That'll work. So in order to do this, I'm going to take a, uh, a dot, a glue dot. You've heard me talk about these before. They're my, they're my next in line with the two-way tape. You just pat it on like that. And before I go any further, I think I'm going to put a piece of two-way tape in the back like that just to hold this piece down did you see what I did there you s I just added a piece of two-way tape on the cover and I'm just tacking it down it'll keep this piece down and it won't make it so floppy like this see what I mean if it sticks to that there so let me try this again and this should work like a charm. I've ordered a whole bunch of flowers from China, guys. If it's something that you'd like to see, I've ordered from them before. These little guys all come from there. And they're pennies. But I, I've ordered something different, and I'm hoping going to be nice. If it is, and you'd like to see more of it, please let me know, because I can uh, just give you a video on and show you what I got. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there on what they buy, and I don't want to bore you with that, but um, yeah. I've been buying from China for quite a few years. I like it. I don't mind waiting. Normally, I never know what I'm doing from one day to the next anyway, so to me it doesn't matter if I have to wait or not. Okay, this is something like what I did over there, all right? Now, what else would I want to do? I want to add it like this. Now, another thing I could have done too is added, uh, I could have added some lace on here, and the lace would have given it a bit of a 
a frill there too. So keep that in mind if that's something that's interesting for you guys. For this, for this particular part, I'm just going to leave it like that. And uh, I am going to start decorating it. Now I had taken a bunch of my, printed out a bunch of my retro, whatever, cutouts and stuff that I have. Um, I don't know really, really, really what I want on these. Uh, I just, some are good, some are, you know, they're all different kinds, but they are cute. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see what we can do here. There, everybody remembers this, eh? I could add this one right here. No, it's a little too wide. Woolworth McDonald's is not as, as big. Well, this one would work too. It's a little faded, but it's okay. That could work too. Is this one here? What do you think? How about a radio one? Oh, I see. I have a narrow one here that's Kool-Aid. That would be a good one to start with. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the adhesive on this. Here's my gun. Put my flowers away for now. And add this here. Now, as far as the vintage uh, layouts that I have here, oops, um, what I do is is I've had there's a I got tons of them because before I anyway make a long story short I I don't know if some of, I don't think any of them are copyrighted I don't remember where I got them because these are all old ones I've had them for so long it's um. It's a search on online. If you're using it just for you and there's this particular one that you'd like to have, let me know. I can send it send it to you. Um, if I still have it, which I should. And yeah, I like that. I really like that. But you know what? I can add a pocket to that. I can add something that will hold something else. And I'm not really sure what yet. Let me think. If I had piece of, hmm, let me think, how about if I had, I oh know, I want to dress this up as well, let me see if I have anything, anything in, um, okay, back in the day, it was very blingy, very, um, very different, let me see, let me see, let me see, I know I have, I have so much stuff, guys. Something on this wall. This one here is cute. This one here is cute. Oh yeah, this one here is cute. Or what do you think of this one? That one there. Or this one here. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so this one here, guys, will do the trick, and I'm going to add it. Do I want to add it there, or do I want to add it? on here. I think it would look good right there. So I'm going to cut it. And these guys is, uh, this is something that I bought, purchased actually yesterday from another, from a dollar store. Just a different, different, well yesterday the day before, from a different uh, location. So, because, you know, they cater to your needs, right? If, if, um, the inventory runs low at one, check out on another one, because if they sell more there, they'll have more, you know, because sometimes, like those magnets, when I, when I get them, I buy a good ten of them at a time, because a lot of people use them for the fridge and so forth, and yeah, I like that, I really do like that, but I think I'd like to have something on here, and um, yeah, so that's what I do, I, I, um, too big. I add different things. Uh, what would this be like on a... Nope. Uh, let me see. I don't want to waste too much time on just the blue room. So maybe I should just wait and see what else I come up with. What do you think? I don't want to pass time and time just doing that. But I could add one here. I don't know, do I like that? No, nope, I don't like that. 
I'm telling you, I'm just like a yo-yo. Roll them in, put them up. I'd like to maybe see a couple of leaves on that, though. Let's see, do I have leaves? I must have leaves in all that, that turmoil here. Yep, I got leaves. One, two, two leaves. I'm going to add them on. That's not quite what the way I had the other one done, but... And I'm just going to add on... on the lid. Like that. Yeah, now it's starting to make sense, isn't it, guys? Oh, yeah. That looks good to me. Alright, let me work with this, guys, and I'll be back, and I'll show you on the other things that I did. So, remember, we have our lid. It closes, no problem. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put my pockets, not to waste too much time on this. So when I make the pocket, I'll know before. And uh, I'll get back to you ASAP. So stick around. All right, hi guys. Um, just continuing with my uh, with this little pocket. I called it ret retro. I forgot what I call it. Retro, retro something. Uh, letter book, something like that. Wanted to know how I managed to make this book, which I showed you earlier, how to put the magnet in, and I how to put this piece all together. The only thing I did a little bit more, I added a little bit of, of bling, and I put a little pocket there, and, you know, I, I added a few uh, corners here to, to access this piece. And now we're going to start working on the inside. So I'm going to open this up. It's uh, held together by a magnet. And, whoops, my little fillers here have come away, but that's fine. I'm just going to leave them right there. And so this is the cover. Let's see where I'm at here again there. Okay, so this is the cover. And I'm going to decorate this piece here. In order to, de to decorate this piece, we're going to do the first pocket. The first pocket is really super easy. I have cut a piece of eight inches by four and a half inches. Okay? At four and a half inches here, four and a half inches, I made a mark right on the bottom, just on the bottom. Then I took this corner and my little marking on the bottom, lined it up with my black mark. On my on my scoreboard here, I've I've added a marker uh, just for ease of, uh, of sight. And I've come all the way down, scored a line down there. And then I took it, brought it back this way. The, hor the horizontal line is here. And at, at the tip of this piece, I came down this way. Where the horizontal mark gathers right there, which should be three and a half. It'll come down this way. Now, so I've got my first pocket. And this would be kind of nice if you had um, a... Uh, a piece of double-sided because um, if you do if you do uh, it kind of I don't know makes it kind of cuter I guess <laughs> it just that it, it, it helps a lot a lot more so do I want it this way do I want it this way I'm not sure I'm going to fold it both sides I should have made my mind first but I did not um, yeah, I think I like it this way. I think I do like this. So the idea behind this is when you put it down, no, I can't, I don't want to put it that way. When you put it down, say I'm going to add it to this here. I am going to glue it down. I will have a pocket behind here. I will have a pocket behind here. If I lay it down, if I made the point, you can play with this all the way around because if you made it right in the center, folded it over, then your point would meet up with this. You could lay it down on the opposite side. You'd have a corner pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket behind. Do you know what I, can you see what I mean? A slide, I slide in here, but the way I did it, I did it this way. So right now, what I'm going to do is, just, just for reference again, this is, this is how you, I have a horizontal line and a, and a line this way. No matter which way you're going to fold it, 
you're going to end up like this. If you go this way, you're going to end up like this. So it's totally up to you, you know, which way you want to put it. So if it's a two side, you can see what I mean about the two side having um, a pretty good match. I don't have to worry about uh, if I want to flip it the other way. It'll look good just the same. So I'm going to add this oh, approximately right there because I'm going to add some more. So at this point, I have a tuck, I have a tuck spot right here. I have a tuck spot right here. And if I want to, I have a tuck spot there because all I need to do is pull this back here if I wanted to. I could pull it back here and then I'd have a little slip up here. Another one. It's entirely up to you how much you want how much you want to put into this. But for me, I believe I am going to glue it here down and I'm just going to have a tuck pocket here, a tuck pocket here, and a little slide in here too. Now to decorate it. You can decorate it whichever way you like. Again, it goes by takes. I'm going to do mine a little retro. I'm going to dress it up and I will be back as soon as I'm done to save on time. Okay guys, this video is running a little long uh, so I don't want to bore you guys with a long, long video. So I'm just going to show you, I finished it all and I'm going to show you how I made it and then I'll run a couple of short videos after and tag it on to it. Uh, to show you little pockets and so forth because I'm afraid it'll be too long um, As I told you a while ago, I made a pocket here I added a pocket on the on the side Which is just um, like a, a half of a doily I guess or something and I just added a bit of uh, Bling or a little pocket notebook or whatever and on the top I added some corners and so forth and uh, just decorated it this way when you open it up I made a pocket here this is what I was working on with the blue pocket and uh, that I showed you how I, how to fold and uh, all I did was enter some of my um, retro uh, ads that I have like a sunbeam mixture chase and born and here take note another little retro card and here I put a little envelope and uh, some little uh, tags, little tags inside, and a, um, a document card, just for, just for fun. And I added tags on them there. And on the side little here that I said I was going to make a little side note, here there's a little, couple more little uh, sliders that you can add just in your pocket right here. So just for fun. And then when you open it another time, here on the back, these are all back sides, by the way, the back side of the envelope. And the front here, I just added a Woolworth uh, ad that I had. And uh, can you imagine an ice cream sandwich was nine cents. And this one here was dated back, I, I saw the date on it, 1945 or 55, something like that. I can't see the date anymore. I might have I cut it off, but I did see it. Anyway, and uh, like, um, oh, just extra special panties, four pairs for 97 cents. Can you imagine? You'd never get that now. Uh, sport shirts, it's $1.69. Uh, Tonkies mag magazines, 79 cents. Nylons, 59 cents. Just unreal, 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 unreal. It's uh, spring hats, $1.98. Wristwatch, $5.95. It just really... It's interesting when you when you kind of look at all that, you know, the step stools, the kitchen step stools, $7.95. Pretty interesting stuff. Anyhow, then you flip it over and you have it totally open. And here I'm going to show you on a separate on a separate um, video how I made this. And these are all magnetized together. They're they're all magna um, mm, there's magnets. It holds by magnet. So if you were going to lift it up it won't open it's all open by magnets it holds down by magnets and inside each one i i've uh, added little tabs and all little cards in each one of them so in reality the cards can go up this way and come down this way 
And inside this pocket here, I added a few more ads. Here we have a freaking stove in the day for sale. Another one here is a Westinghouse TVs, a, a new 54-inch Westinghouse television. No, not 54 uh, automatic, 1954. It's giant 21-inch screen TV. Imagine, I remember having those. <laughs> <laughs> scary when you think about it and uh, here's a McDonald's look at this guys McDonald's when the hamburgers were only 19 cents that's in 1962 and I'll show you how to I just made a little paper clip here with a tag and I'll show you that on a separate video how I how I manage that one and uh, on the inside pockets again I have uh, this is Campbell's soup remember these guys? I have one upstairs actually with my antiques upstairs that's um one of those little soup uh, containers. And here I have Sanka coffee. I don't know if you guys remember that. I think it still exists, Sanka. I'm not real sure. But anyhow, and here I have Kodak. Can you imagine a Kodak camera, a new loading, a new folding camera for $6? Kodak. So I had to put... I, I had to put a little uh, uh, camera there for that. And here's another Kodak ad. A moment's worth saving is um, worth Kodak film. And this is the full ad. I had to cut it in order to put it in here. And uh, I added all those on the side. And added lace, by the way. You probably noticed that. I added lace and a bit of bling. But then again, <clears throat> that is all to the individual how you want to how to decorate. All I did was put two pieces of of lace and glued my piece on top and these are all laces that I received in swaps and so forth okay and here I have a Kmart ad on this one here and I just made a um, uh, left with the leftover lace I just made a little flower here and on this one here $88 for a uh, for 82 channel UHF VHF reception TV <laughs> oh my gosh and then you get the free TV base if you buy it three favorite dolls you have, uh, remember the etch -a sketch A dollar eighty-six for the etch -a sketch That still exists today. All kinds of, uh, oh, fun. A water, uh, an automatic washing machine for $178. Oh, jeez. And in here, again, I added, this is me, but you guys could add whatever you want. And I had, oh, a Budweiser, 25 cents per 12-ounce bottle. I don't think so anymore. Coca-Cola, ice Coke. And I just added those in here to show you that you could put pictures. You don't have to do it retro. Well, I did it this way. But you could put actually pictures, real pictures that mean something to you. And this is the lid on top that has uh, the magnet. And uh, on the back, uh, this is the front part. That's right. This is the front here. And then this closes automatically with the... Uh, with the magnet and on the back I'm going to show you how I did these these are all pockets again which I added um, all these uh, ads and so forth They're like Pyrex bowls were 249 and so forth but there's actually in here let me take the pockets out so I can show you how much space there is in here but uh, in here there are actually there there is actually in here this space, all in behind here, all in behind here, all in behind here, all in behind here, again here and here. And that is all made, guys, with envelopes. All with envelopes. So it's a really nice little tuck pocket. It works fantastic. And, uh, you know, you can use it for just about anything, really. But for the collection here, I just did this. And then I added some all kinds of lemonade, soda, and uh, family little card, whatever. Remember, you are fabulous. That's the authentic collection here. And uh, I just kind of fill it up. The Kmart here again. Uh, you know, coffee percolator, $12.88. A toaster, $7.77. It's pretty interesting when you look at it. This must be an older one because the prices are not as less expensive I guess and you can just fill it up so basically guys uh, because I'm, I'm over an hour I'm going to cut it and you can look through the video and then when you're done and you want to start your own and you get to this certain part it, I will definitely uh, be doing the short videos and adding them with this and um, so you can see how I made those pockets there are so many pockets so many things 
you just can't put it all in just a small book like this. But I will show you what I did in this, and I hope it's close enough to what you were looking for or what I had done in the previous time. It's like I said, uh, I, um, I don't take notes, I just make it. And, uh, and then from there, I, yeah, from there I give it away, and the bad thing is, and I saw on, on Facebook, I'm not the only one that does, forgets to take pictures. Those ones that do, I think, are very smart. Take pictures of your work before you send it out. Anyway, this is Yvonne signing off. I hope this uh, was able to inspire you, and for those of you who have never made one, you may want to make one. And I'll be, uh, I'll be making uh, the other one, the other small short tutorials for the pockets very shortly. Have a great crafting day. This is Yvonne, and I'm signing off.